This morning, the Pentagon confirming that the U.S. conducted airstrikes on two Iranian facilities in Syria. The strikes were ordered by President Biden in response to more than a dozen rocket and drone attacks on American forces in Iraq and Syria. KTLA's Alina Bovian is live in the News Center with more. Alina, good morning. Chris, Megan, good morning. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin saying this was in self-defense, a counteroffensive to ward off additional attacks against American forces in the region. Now take a look. These strikes taking place in eastern Syria along the Iraqi border. F-16 fighter jets targeting two locations linked to Iranian-backed military groups in response to at least 19 attacks on American troops in the region in recent days. The targets overnight included a weapon storage location, no at this point on any injuries or casualties. The offensive was a direct order from President Biden, and even though tensions are continuing to rise in the Middle East, since Hamas attacked Israel on November 7th, the Biden administration ensuring this attack is separate from the situation in Gaza. However, U.S. defense officials saying Tehran and Iranian leaders are funding, arming, equipping, training and directing militia groups across the region and have escalated attacks against U.S. forces in the last few weeks, which the U.S. warned Iran not to do. Since that Hamas terrorist attack, we've also been crystal clear that we do not want to see the situation in Israel widen, or widen rather, into a broader regional conflict. And as you've heard President Biden, Secretary Austin, and other senior U.S. leaders say, our message to any country or group thinking about trying to take advantage of this situation to widen the conflict is don't. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin saying Iran wants to hide its hand and deny its role in these attacks against our forces. We will not let them. And Austin went on to say that at this point, the U.S. has no intention of engaging in further hostilities. I'm Lena Bourbon, live here in News Center. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.